winning this first round of the war. But what do you say to that? نحن نقول بأن الضياء يبزغ من الظلام. What we say is that light comes through the dark, penetrates the dark. كلما توقعت الإدارة الأمريكية أنها ملأت بغداد بالظلام. As much as whenever the the, the American administration expects that it is filling Baghdad or covering Baghdad with darkness. فستواجه الضياء الذي في صدور الشعب العراقي. Then the American administration will face the light that exists that fills the breasts of the Iraqi people. مع سؤالكم في أن ال But as regards your question, الناس في الإدارة الأمريكية أو which is that the people of the Americans الذين يعاونوها يقولون بأنهم يربحوا الجولة الأولى فنترك تقدير هذا الشعب الأمريكي لأنه ثابت أن الشعب الأمريكي يقينا أنه لم ينسى الكلام الذي سمعه قبل عشرة أيام أو دعش يوم من الآن. As to what you stated, which with regard to the statements being made by American experts or commanders saying that the American administration is winning this first round, then we should leave this to the American people themselves because the American people will not have forgotten what was being said only 10 days ago. Then we should leave this to the American people الشعوب الحرة في كل العالم. So let us leave the assessment of that to the people of the United States and to the free peoples of the world. So you fought Iran, Iraq. The Iran-Iraq war lasted eight long years. I have been told by people who have been here and who live here that in all that time, your country was not affected as badly as it is now. The power is down. Water supplies are scarce. Uh, so, how would you relate what is happening now to your years fighting the Iran-Iraq war, sir? The most important thing is that our people now لم يكن بمستوى طهارة النفس الذي هو عليها الآن في كل حياته السابقة. Our people now has never been as has never been as pure in its soul as it is now in throughout its history. And our armed forces have never been determined as they are now throughout the history and throughout the difficult circumstances in which they have or throughout the difficult situations with which they have dealt. A couple of tactical points, sir, that have come up. I have been hearing broadcasts that quite large numbers of uh, Iraqi planes have gone to Iranian fields. Could you shed some light on the reason? Irrespective of the figures or numbers which you've heard and, and the figures which we know. المهم بأن العراق وإيران بلدين مسلمين جارين. The important thing is that Iraq and Iran are two neighboring Muslim countries. وبغض النظر عن الظروف الماضية. And regardless of the circumstances of the past. فسوف تبقى هذه الصفات هي أبرز. These ما يقيم جسور العلاقة بين البلدين. These facts shall remain the most important in the relationship between the two countries. وبما أن المعركة الآن بين الإيمان وبين الكفر. And since the battle now is a battle between faith and infidelity. بين الحق وبين الباطل. And between truth and falsehood between treason between treason and faith commitment 
بين العدل والانصاف وبين الاجحاف والتسلط والعدوان فلا تتوقعوا ان هنالك بلد اسلامي واحد هو ليس معنا في مثل هذه المعركه وامر طبيعي انه اذا بعض طائرات العراق وجدت نفسها انها في حاله اضطرار لتهبط في هذا البلد الاسلامي او ذاك فانها تفعل هذا بموجب هذه الروحيه وبهذه وبموجب هذه الصوره So it is only natural that if a certain particular uh, um, Iraqi aircraft found it under certain circumstances necessary that it should uh, go down in a neighboring country's airport, in an Islamic country, in this particular Islamic country or the other, then this uh, could happen in the light of this spirit and in the light of this picture. Will those planes be continue to be used in the in the current conflict? Uh, so will they will they come back to Iraq? Will they be used as war planes? في كل الأحوال نحن نحترم قوانين وإرادة دولة إيران. In all circumstances, we respect the decision and the regulations of the Iran, of the state of Iran. So. But could we see those planes used again? I would like to press that point. Each uh, case has its own circumstance. The American multinational bombing of its oil tankers created the leak. But the United States says that Iraq officials turned the pipes on in Kuwait and let the oil flow uninterruptedly into the Gulf. Did that actually happen? أمريكا ضربت عدد من ناقلات النفط المحملة بالنفط هذه حقائق والإعلام الغربي لم ينكر هذه الحقائق. The facts that cannot be denied, the facts that have not been denied by Western media, are that there were Iraqi tankers loaded with crude oil and they were attacked and sunk by the American forces. وكون امريكا لم تنكر هذا فانها كانت تعرف بان هذه الناقلات محمله بالبترول. And the fact that the United States has not denied that they have attacked these tankers and that they knew these tankers were loaded with oil. والى جانب هذه انه امريكا ضربت بعض المنشات البتروليه ايضا هي حقائق وايضا امريكا لم تنكر fact in addition to this fact there is the other fact which is that the united states armed forces have attacked uh, oil installations which they themselves have not denied having done اذا فان الولايات المتحده الامريكيه ليست حريصه so على عدم تسرب البترول في هذا المكان او ذاك. So this shows that the United States is not really keen not to see oil and oil spill uh, go uh, go uh, into this place or that place in in the action effects. سواء في البر whether on land or سواء في البحر or at sea. وسواء كانت الاثار السلبيه على البيئة في البحر أو على في الأماكن الأخرى. Regardless of the negative impact that this may have on the environment, whether it is at sea or in other places. وعندما تفعل هذا هي غير مضطرة لأن تقوم بهذا. And when the United States takes such action. The United States takes this action uh, un uh, uh, without being forced to do it. أي لا تقوم لا تستطيع أن تدعي الإدارة الأمريكية أنها تقوم بهذا ضمن إطار الاضطرار وضمن حالة الحق 
الدفاع الشرعي عن النفس الملجئة إلى ذلك. In other words, the United States cannot claim that it is taking these actions uh, 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 of necessity or within the framework of legitimate self-defense, which they have uh, to uh, they, which, to which they are forced. لذلك إذا ما تصرف القادة الميدانيين. So if the field commanders were to conduct themselves. العسكريين. The military commanders. في استخدام مادة البترول ومن واجبات حق الدفاع الشرعي عن النفس والدفاع عن البلد. If military commanders were to use oil in a manner that comes within the framework of Uh, legitimate self-defense and legitimate defense of the country to which they belong في هذا المكان أو ذاك in this particular place or in another إن كان بصيغة الخنادق التي تملأ بالزيت وتشعل be it in the form of trenches filled with oil and then burnt أو بصيغ أخرى or in any other form فإن عبرهم معهم then such commanders will have a justification for taking such action. The decision by your government to use prisoners of war pilots as human shields and strategic installations, this was announced last week. Has that actually happened and will it continue? What was announced was announced by an official, an official authority. ولكن هل ما زال هنالك من في الغرب من يتحدث عن الاخلاق والقانون؟ But are there still people in the West who can talk about morality and law? خذوا هذا المثال الذي ساقوله لكم. Take this example which I want to give you now. أتذكر كم حصل من من حجم إعلام على الأجانب الذي منعهم العراق لكي يمنع قيام الحرب. Do you remember the great propaganda who had that was made over the issue of the foreigners who were prevented from travel by Iraq in an attempt to prevent the outbreak of war? أتذكر ما ماذا كان يقال عن Do you remember what was being said about our decision at that time? It was being described as being immoral, illegal, and lawful, inhuman. وكان الغرب يتحدث عن إنسانيته شفافة about its tender humanity ويتباهى بعض الحكام الغربيين and مثل هذا الادعاء Western officials تجاه الناس الذين لم يكونوا قد اكتشفوهم بما فيه الكفاية and some Western officials were bragging their humanity in this manner before people who hadn't yet discovered their true nature as they have now. Do you remember this? أتعرف ماذا يعملون الآن الغربيين نفسهم الذين كانوا ينتقدون قراراتنا تلك؟ Do you know what these Western officials themselves are doing now? Those officials who were criticizing our decisions at the time. أتعرف بأنهم يحجزون العراقيين حتى الطلاب. Do you know that they are keeping as prisoners in their countries, even students who they are keeping them as prisoners in a manner that they public that they make public themselves. أتعرف التحديدات التي وضعت على الأمريكان اللي من أصل عربي وعلى العراقيين اللي على الغربيين اللي متجنسين جنسيات غربية اللي من أصل عربي وعراقي. Do you know the kind of restrictions, restrictions that are being imposed on the Western nationals of Arab or Iraqi origins in, in the United States, Americans that is, Iraqi. In the, in the West. عدد من الدول الغربية. In the West as a whole. عدد من العرب اللي من جنسيات عربية سابقة. 
ننبر تجنسوا الجنسية الغربية ومع ذلك بعد الحرب وضعت عليهم تحديدات قاسية خلافا لقوانين بلدانهم The Arabs that have uh, gone to western countries and resided there for some time and have acquired uh, citizenship or nationality of those particular western countries now are facing the kind of restrictions uh, as, as a result of this بما في ذلك في بلدك أمريكا That of course includes the United States أليس هذه ازدواجية Isn't this double standards experts and uh, others in, in the U.S. military command and others in the multinational forces are saying that they can probably destroy your ground forces in Kuwait with bombardments, with aerial bombing, and may not need to invade, or if they do invade, they just can mop up the remainder of your troops there. It, 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 just, you, just a little more to, it, if, if indeed uh, you can, if indeed this is not the case, how can they survive this massive bombing that the multinational force can bring to bear? Do you remember what the uh, American, uh, what the Western leaders, including President Bush, were again were saying? كانوا يقولون بأنهم سوف يدخلون الحرب من غير أن ينجرح أمريكي واحد. They were saying that they would enter this war without uh, an, any, without a single American getting wounded. هل تحقق هذا؟ بعدنا الآن بعدنا في بداية الأمر. Has this been the case? بعد الحرب في بداية. We're only at the very outset. عشر عشرة أيام. Only ten days. مو عشرة أيام؟ لا عشر. لا عشر. هل حقيقة إنه لم لم يجرح أمريكا؟ Ten days. Is it true that no Americans have been wounded? فكيف لو بدأت الحرب؟ في إطارها الشمولي. So what would happen if war were to expand or to begin taking its more comprehensive form? إذا على الذين أخطأوا التقدير في هذه الحرب. So those who made the wrong assessment with regard to this war. وحدهم أن يواجهوا الجواب على تسأل الشعوب والرأي العام. Answer the questions being raised by their people, by the peoples of the world, and by public opinion. أما الرجال في الكويت. But as for our men in Kuwait. فالذي يهجم عليهم سوف ينهزم. Then whoever attacks them shall be defeated. الموضوع لكي يتبين من الذي ينهزم ومن الذي لا ينهزم in order هو الشيطان مع من والله مع من in order to decide who will uh, lose and who will win is based on who has the devil on his side and who has God on his side what would you say to governments and people around the world today who are seeking a peaceful solution to this crisis is there no hope left هذا السؤال كان يوجه إلى بوش منكم أنتوا الأمريكيين. This is a question that should be posed to Bush that should be put to Bush himself from you, American, the American people. Bush اتخذ من الحوار تكتيك. Bush used dialogue as a tactic. أنتم تعرفون بأننا نحن الذين طرحنا الحوار. You know, you remember that we, it was we who suggested or proposed dialogue. وكان يرفض. And he rejected our proposal. ثم طلع على التلفزيون فجأة. And then all of a sudden. يقول إنه يريد الحوار. To say that he was calling for dialogue. واكتشفنا فورا. And we discovered immediately. بأنه قد قرر الحرب. That he had decided to launch war, to wage war. وحديثه الجديد عن الحوار ما هو إلا غطاء ليقول للذين يقولون له بأنه أنك لم تستنفذ طريق الحوار أن بأنه قد تحاور ولم يهتدي إلى نتيجة ولم يبقى أمامه إلا الحرب وهذا الذي كان مثل ما أعلننا تماما. We discovered at that moment once he decided once he declared he was proposing dialogue we decided we discovered that he had opted to wage war uh, because what he was trying to do was to 
uh, uh, use dialogue in order to uh, silence all the parties that were telling him that he hadn't as yet exhausted all the possibilities that may spare us war and then once he has done that then he would be able to launch war. This is exactly what happened and this is exactly what we had expected. You have unconventional weapons at the battlefront it is reported. Chemical weapons. Will you use chemical weapons in a land war in Kuwait? نحن سنستخدم الأسلحة التي تكافئ الأسلحة التي يستخدمها عدونا علينا. We shall use the weapons that will be equitable to the weapons used against us by our enemy. وأعتقد إنه أنتم الآن جربتونا إنه كل الكلام اللي سبق أن قلنا الآن طبقنا. And I think we have we have shown uh, to you by now how true we are to our word. We have, you've tried this. We have implemented every word we have said. But the multinational forces have said they would not use chemical weapons against you. Does that mean that if they don't use them, you don't use them? أنا قلت بأننا سنستخدم سنستخدم الأسلحة التي تكافئ الأسلحة التي تستخدم ضدا. I said, وفي كل الأحوال لن نعطى العراق. What I said was that we shall use the weapons that shall equate the weapons that are used against us. Equate, Sadie, to cast Equate. We shall use the weapons that shall equate, that shall be equitable to the weapons used against us. But in any case, under, and, and under any circumstance, we shall never relinquish Iraq. You mean Kuwait? العراق بكل حدوده العراق العراق بكل حدوده من زاخو الى البحر I'm talking about Iraq from Zaho and the north to the sea in south all of Iraq you have been uh, launching missile attacks against Israel and uh, are you disappointed that Israel has not responded with its own forces and thereby got into the actually got involved in this war هي هاي كل القوة الآن اللي تهجم على بغداد هي إسرائيلية. All the force that is now being used against Baghdad that is now attacking Baghdad is Israel. شنو مصلحتك أنت الأمريكي تهجم على بغداد لوم الصهيونية التي لعبت في أروقة البيت الأبيض اللي دفعت جيشك إلى مثل هذا الموقف. What interest would you as an American have to come to attack Baghdad? Had it, unless it is the Zionist influence that has played its role in the corridors of the U.S. administration and led to this attack being, uh, to this aggression being waged. لماذا تتخذ أمريكا قرار منع الأكل عن العراقيين قبل أحداث آب خمسة أشهر؟ Why should the United States take a decision to prevent food from being given to the people of Iraq five months before the uh, 2nd of August, unless the enemies of Iraq and unless Zionism has a role in that part? هذه المعركة هي معركة الصهيونية ولكن الصهيونية تقاتلنا بدماءكم أنتم الأمريكان. This war, this war that is being waged against us, is a Zionist war. Only here, Zionism is fighting us through American blood, through your blood. وإذا كانت لا تستخدم الآن بعض أسلحتها. And if Zionism is not using now some of its weapons. فتريد أن تحتفظ بها. Then the Zionists want to keep these weapons. لكي تصبح سيدة الموقف بعد أن تنتهي الحرب. In order to be to be master of the situation, in order to be to 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 be the dominant power in the situ in 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 the area once the war has come to an end. أما الصهيونية تقاتلنا هي. But لو لا الصهيونية لما جئتم مؤكد إلى لتحتلوا الكعبة وقبر الرسول محمد. وتصطدموا بالمسلمين ككل و 
تحت دو علم اقدر فنحن لن نخدع بالمظاهر We shall not be uh, deluded by appearances. Do you have chemical warheads for your Scud missiles? And is it conceivable that you would put chemical, uh, chemical weapons, would you fire on Israel or even on, say, targets, civilian targets in Saudi Arabia? الأمريكان يعرفون أنه أنتوا ليش حساسين من أن تسمون الأمور بأسمائها؟ Why, why uh, uh, do you find it difficult to call a spade a spade? <laughs> why don't you call a spade a spade? Squad, squad Rusi. Squad is, is, a, is a Soviet missile uh, which has a range of 270 kilometers. <laughs> but the missiles that we're talking about are Iraqi missiles and they are called as Hussein missiles. I knew the name. يستطيع أن يحمل رؤوس ذرية كيميائية بيولوجية This missile is capable of carrying nuclear, chemical and biological warheads أنا قلت بأننا نستخدم السلاح الذي يكافئ السلاح المقابل. I said we we use the weapons that will be equitable that will meet the weapons used against us. كل هذا التفوق الجوي مع ذلك إحنا لم لم نهتز لم نخرج عن ال عن سك سكة التوازن في طريقة التصرف. All this air superiority that you see now has failed to take us away from the path of balanced combat that we have maintained. ذلك استخدم منا الصاروخ بالرأس التقليدي. Which is we have maintained our balance. We have used the missile in its with its conventional warheads. Could you see the occasion when you would use unconventional warheads in your missile? At what point? هل ترى نتمنى أن لا تسيل دماء كثيرة. We pray that not a lot of blood will be shed. من أي جنسية كانت؟ From whatever party, from whatever nation. ونأمل أن لا نضطر إلى الاضطرار. Pray that we shall not be forced into taking a forced measure. Crisis, it's more than a crisis, it's a war now, is the mother of all battles. Every field commander in history has had doubts about the outcome of the battle ahead. Do you have any doubts whatsoever? Well, I have been with you. Not even one in a million. You have invited me, CNN here, to talk with you tonight. What would you hope the impact of this interview will have on the United States and the world? حسبنا أننا قلنا الذي نؤمن به. I have said what I believe to be the truth. وأرجو أن تقول للأمريكيين. And I hope that you will tell the Americans. لأننا نتمنى لهم الخير. That we wish them well. ونتمنى أن لا يموت أحد من أبنائهم. And we pray that none of their sons will die. That no other life shall be lost from their sons. وكل العراقيين ممتنين لكل الخيرين الأمريكان الذين يخرجون بمظاهرات في أمريكا ضد الحرب. And that all the people of Iraq are grateful to all the noble souls of the amongst the the United States people who are coming out into the street demonstrating against this war. ولكل الخيرين 
من المواطنين الشرفاء في فرنسا وفي ألمانيا وفي أسبانيا وفي إيطاليا وفي كل مكان وفي إنجلترا نحن نتابع باهتمام هذا المستوى الإنساني الرفيع We follow with keen, with keenness, this sublime level of humanity. الذي يخرج مناقضا which comes out to the contrary. السياسة العدوانية التي تصمم في الدهاليز التي تدفع إليها الصهيونية المجرمة. Which comes out to counter the policies of aggression that are being planned and decided through the corridors of evil penetrated and, per uh, and dominated by uh, criminal Zionism. <laughs> بين القرار الشرير من الإدارات التي وقعت تحت تأثير الصهيونية وبين موقف الشعوب. And we shall continue to view any evil decision taken by any government or administration in isolation from the spirit and from the feelings of the people of that particular country. ومثل ما نعاهد الله ونعاهد شعبنا. And in the same way as we. وأبناء أمتنا. In the same way as we give a pledge to God and to our people, uh, uh, people of our country and of our nation. نعاهد الخيرين في أمريكا وفي أوروبا وفي اليابان. We express our pledge. وفي الاتحاد السوفيتي وفي كل العالم. States in Japan, in the Soviet Union, everywhere in the world. في البلدان التي تسمى بالمتقدمة وفي البلدان التي تسمى. In the world, in so-called advanced or developed countries, or in the so-called underdeveloped or third-world countries, we give them our pledge that we shall never forget the noble souls, the noble people. And they will discover day after day. Day after day. عندما يرفضون الظلم الذي يقع عليهم على شعبنا وعلى أمتنا. Because they are countering a war that is being waged and just clear against the people. And I am pleased to have had this interview with you. I thank you for having listened to me with an open mind. Peter Arnett discussed chilling important in his 30 years of covering wars. Now, to get that interview out of Iraq, CNN installed a special mobile satellite link in Baghdad. It also enabled CNN's Bernard Shaw to speak to Peter Arnett about his time with Saddam Hussein. From the interview was his uh, suggestion, his belief, or his hope that people power, the uh, peoples around the world, but they're the momentum of their anti-war protests may develop to influence their governments. He dwelt a lot on that. And uh, I was interested, I, I was taken back to the days in uh, my coverage of the Vietnam War. I was in Hanoi in 1972, when uh, Vietnamese leaders there talked at length about people power in the United States influencing decisions of the U.S. government in those days. So Saddam Hussein has picked up on that particular aspect. He also has picked up on what is going on in Washington. He and his advisors clearly have been following the White House and Pentagon briefings. Bernie, I... I've been uh, told to, we still have uh, audio here. I've been told to stop this particular interview because there's been a, uh, an air raid on Baghdad. There's been no air raid alarm, as usually we have these alerts. But at the moment, we didn't have one. Bombs are falling on the edge of the city. I think if you, get, you can get that shot, maybe, of some uh, anti-aircraft fire going into the air. This is live coverage of the war from Baghdad. We've been talking about this on the phone for a couple of weeks now, but this is what we see every night going into the sky. There's not too much that uh, we hear the bomb blast. Maybe if I stop, maybe you will hear that. Well, we've heard a lot of bomb blasts, uh, and if they become more prominent, Peter, we'll be quiet and listen up. But right now, we want to get from you as much as we can, since we have you up on the bird live. 
Uh, you're on the grounds of the Al Rashid Hotel. Are you standing, I see a grape arbor or some vines. Are you standing next to that, that shrouded catwalk that goes to the heliport? That is exactly it, Bernie. You remember it well. <laughs> Peter, uh, I know that you haven't had much sleep in the last 36 hours, and the CNN crew, and this is not self-serving, on the run from Amman to Baghdad, you had, you, you had equipment damage, and then Nick Robertson and your other assistants, Vito Mangiolo and the other people on the CNN staff, had to work through the night to assemble this half-million-dollar ground satellite station, and then the technicians had to search in the skies, 23,000 miles into the sky, to find that satellite. And that's been one of the frustrating problems on your end and on our end. CNN headquarters have received telephone calls from reporters and what have you. When are you going to show the Saddam interview? Well, I know you've gone through hell to get this picture out of there, and we applaud you for it. And, and I want to ask you now, what, what was, well, let's listen to what's going on now with the air raid sirens. Go ahead, Peter, we can yeah, hear you. Yeah, the alarm, this is the air raid alert. They're very familiar here. There have been two earlier this evening, well, two in the last eight hours. This is uh, pretty much typical of an evening in Baghdad. And uh, we are just, uh, we listen to this inside the hotel on a regular basis. Uh, I can't talk too much about it because the officials are here. So if we can go on to some other subjects, I'll stop talking about the air raid now. Bernie. If we don't talk about okay. I know you're being asked not to talk about specifics, but based on my experience there, it's clear that the AAA, the anti-aircraft artillery fire we're watching now, is farther away from you than it was closer to the hotel when we were there in the opening hours of this war. Um, I wonder if you could ask me that question again, Bernie. Well, I was going to ask you about uh, Saddam Hussein's ear very close to what's happening here in Washington. For the last two days, there's been talk about whether or not the Allies have been targeting Saddam Hussein, and very vehemently from the White House, and especially from the Pentagon, the word was, no, we don't target leaders. And I heard at the top of your report, you, you quoted President Saddam Hussein as, Hussein as saying that clearly the forces have proved they are looking for me. Well, I guess I probably meant to say they're looking for him in the sense that they're targeting Iraq as a target rather than Kuwait. They came to Baghdad. He suggested, he was smiling and saying they basically, in a conversation earlier, he was saying, while I'm here, uh, even though it was a sort of a remote place, and he was smiling, and uh, he did indicate, he suggested to me that all this emphasis on Baghdad, which you are hearing right now, this has been going on for, as I say, the 13th night of the war, uh, there's a lot of concentration here, and he was saying that uh, why isn't all this activity in Kuwait? Uh, isn't that where the war's about? Aren't they trying to push me out of Kuwait? Why are they spending so much time in the Baghdad area, Bernie? For the past few minutes, he's in our New York bureau, and there was a time in Mr. Moria's life when he was in the White House and the war was Vietnam. Bill, come in, please. Bernard, let me say to both you and Peter that as an American and as a fellow journalist, I've been very uh, proud of you and you too, and of John Holloman, you've been a great credit to our uh, craft, uh, staying there, keeping your eyes and ears opening, and working under most difficult circumstances. Uh, and uh, I, I've heard so many of our fellows and sisters in this business uh, express those sentiments. And I'm sorry if it seems self-serving, but I wanted to, 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 to express my admiration to you. Well, thank you, Bill. Uh, it's appreciated. Peter? Yes, Bernie, I'm with you. What else can you tell us about this man whom you were taken to in the most circuitous of manners? Uh, in October, when we interviewed him, we were taken directly to a house and we waited. But you had to go on a midnight ride. I really can't tell you too much about it, Bernie. I've been asked not to mention the locale or really the circumstances under which we met. Uh, this is a man who is obviously concerned about his security, and they uh, asked me not to talk about the procedures that they followed in preparing me for the interview. The Palestinian search for a homeland. That was a link the Iraqi president tagged on at a 